Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Lucille off the Walking Dead Negan's Bat Replica out of a real baseball bat and real barbed wire. I'm going to teach you how to make one of these. I'm going to teach you how to make one of these today. A Negan baseball bat replica. So what we need to do, first of all, you start off with a baseball bat, preferably blank, unlacquered, unfinished baseball bat. And if you don't know where to get those, well, I actually sell them. I'll actually put a, I sell thousands of them. I'll put a link in my uh, description to my eBay store. And uh, so really what we want to start off with is a blank baseball bat, which looks like this right here. Boom. Just a regular blank bat so boom that's it you start off with a blank bat then you take some stain you get from Lowe's anything like that or any place like that Lowe's Home Depot I use Minwax boom yellow label and I use the dark walnut stain to get that a dark stain and then next thing you want to do is get a sharpie and you want to draw a little circle in the middle of the bat you want to stain the bat with the dark walnut just like so that stain differently all of them are different whether it's maple whether it's ash they all look good some people say ash looks better who gives a crap so what you want to do to stain it you take a towel this used to be a white towel but this is my staining towel i dip it in there and you just rub it all over the bat so very very simple very very easy next you get a sharpie and you do the little, you draw a little circle just to kind of eyeball it there's no perfect way it's probably uh three inches tall on the bat you can kind of see where it is on the bat draw the little circle on there fill it in color it in boom easy easy stuff and these kind of bats they look kind of worn anyway so there's no perfect way to do this so draw the little circle step number three get some barbed wire so from your local store um, feed I got mine from a local feed store slash hardware store it's in a big spool right here and uh, you're gonna need some tools for this as well so you're gonna need a hammer and you're gonna need wire cutters and you're gonna need galvanized fencing staples small ones these ones are actually um, fencing nails um, three-quarter inch by 14 gauge fencing nails and my barbed wire right here is actually gaucho wire it's a cheaper barbed wire um it's not the thickest it's not cheap by any means but it's not the thickest because it's just easier to roll if you get gaucho so keep that in mind gaucho is like the sharpest barbed wire so be careful it's a very very dangerous very sharp what you want to do starting off you want to take the end of your barbed wire and you want to get a vise and you want to place the end of a barbed wire in the vise just like that and you want to just Tighten her down. Ugh. I'm gonna tighten it down. And then what we're gonna do, you're gonna unroll that barbed wire approximately 20 feet. So I'm gonna do that right now and then we're gonna get to building. Here we go. Next, what you wanna do, you wanna get your baseball bat, you've got your barbed wire. You are going to cut after you've stretched your barbed wire about 20 feet. You're gonna cut your barbed wire off your spool, boom, just like so. The other end is on the vise, or it's in the vise. So, what you're gonna do, you get your baseball bat, you take the barrel, you put this end of the barbed wire over the barrel of the bat, let it hang over just a little bit, just like so. You drape it over just like that. You want to wear gloves. It's very sharp. Hold between your legs, using your knees. Hold the staple. Just, here's the staple. Hold it. Put it over the barbed wire. And you just hammer it in a little bit. Just go ahead and grab, just like that. It's in there, kind of holding it, and you just hammer it down boom just like that 
So that's step number one. And then you get to rolling. Next, you're gonna roll the barbed wire around the barrel, keeping your barbed wire really tight and using your vise. You're just gonna roll it all the way back, all the way to the vise, just like so. Use your forearms to roll, keeping it tight, keeping the barbed wire close on the barrel. Very, very simple, very, very easy. I'm using a maple 33 inch baseball bat right now. I'm just rolling it. See how it looks? You just roll it on the barrel. Really easy, all the way to the mice. For this, I'm gonna put, drape a little sheet underneath my bat, just so I don't scratch the bat too much when I nail. So we get it tight, still in the vise underneath. Just helps from scratching the bat too much when you beat the crap out of the the nail, take off your gloves, hold the bat with your glove. This is the freaking hick way to make a Lucille, but put a nail right in there, like so. Just you want to just hammer it down. These are hard to hammer. Boom, there's one. Now, that's where we put our first nail. It's not the prettiest, but it'll do. And then, we're going to put our second nail. You know what? We're not even going to put a second nail. Where that first nail is, boom. Just go ahead and cut that right after the fencing staple. Nail, staple, whatever. Hammer down, boom. That's all she wrote. Look at there. Lucille replica. Last step, this is what you have at this point right here. Just like Negan, this replica, boom. Wrap it in barbed wire. Step number three, or whatever step we're on. I just use some crystal clear enamel from Rust-Oleum, whatever you have. Some clear coat, makes it real nice and shiny. And just give her a spray. These sell online. If you wanna make these yourself, they sell online for if you need any bats, you can buy them from me. Again, in the description box below is the link. These are selling for $100 all day long. <clears throat> People buy bats from me all the time to make these. But I sell them for $50. So if you just wanna buy one straight from me, I'll put that description below in the description box. Right here, boom, final product. Lucille replica. Real baseball bat, real barbed wire. That's how you make a Lucille replica bat. All you need is a hammer, wire cutters, barbed wire, fencing staples, some gloves, and a vise. And of course, baseball bat stain and a Sharpie. Boom. I'm JD Anderson. This is the Lucille DIY video how to make your own Lucille replica bat. Buy your bats below in the description box below, or buy your Lucille in the description box below. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.